Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to spring declutter with you guys. So I know everyone is spring cleaning but I am not at that level yet because I have so much decluttering to do and a couple of weeks ago I shared on my Patreon channel all of the worst most unorganized embarrassing areas of my house and I gave my patrons a full tour of all of the areas that were really really bothering me and it's really quite embarrassing and I let them choose what I should be decluttering this spring and I'm really excited to bring you guys along. So every Monday during the month of April, I am going to be sharing with you guys some of the messiest areas of my house and something that all of my patrons recommended I do was to clean out my office drawers and file things away. So a long time ago, it's been well over a year now. I was lucky enough to renovate my entire office. I have a beautiful desk. It's a Disney themed office. If you're new to my channel, I am a travel agent for Disney. So there's lots of Disney stuff all over the place and it's just my favorite room in the house. And I was so excited to have all of this great storage space so that I can organize my files and have everything in a very specific place. Well, <laughs> that did not happen. Basically every, drawer in my desk has become some type of a junk drawer and the area where I was supposed to set up all of my filing I would pay bills and I would just open the drawer and pile it up so it ended up just being big piles of things that needed to be filed and here we are well over a year into it and it's a mess so I figured since that was the thing that I wanted to least do that was the thing that I tackled. So today I'm going to take you guys along with me and show you my process. And I hope that it inspires you to maybe get some filing done because I know it's just not fun. I, it's just not something I enjoy. I think it's because I worked as an office manager for a company for over a decade. And primarily my job was filing things and taking care of finances and just, it just reminds me too much of work. <laughs> So I'm over it and I don't want to do it anymore, but I have to. And now that everything is tidied up and organized and filed, it is so much easier to pay the bills and just put things right where they belong. All right, so let me show you my process and everything that I did to get my desk drawers back in order. But first, let me show you what they looked like. I was so happy to get this beautiful desk when I renovated this room and changed it up to be an office. It's exactly what I wanted and I was so excited to have all of this storage space because, you know, I'm going to file everything so nicely. This was really the thing that I, I need to tackle that I'm putting off. So this is supposed to be for all of our files. And basically I pay bills and throw them in here. They're all stacked up along the side, all stacked up along this side. There's our magic bands for Disney. It's just like whatever. <laughs> but the purpose of this drawer is for all of our filing for our monthly finances, insurance, all the things are supposed to be very nicely filed in here. Most of the stuff is in there, just not filed nicely. So ugh, that was supposed to be a winter project. That never happened. I actually took a class on it. I paid money to take a class on decluttering paperwork and how to organize it and I still have not done it. Okay, so I began this process with purchasing a bunch of folders that are the type of file folders that actually hang on the racks and my husband went ahead and started to give me all of the files that we had in another filing cabinet that was in his office. He was really happy to get rid of it all <laughs> and put it in my office. So they're not really beautifully labeled and he just, you know, wrote down whatever he needed to write on each file so that I would know how to file all of the things. 
and that's okay because I really don't need this to be pretty. I just need it to be organized. So I went through and I did one side of the cabinet is for all of our lake house bills. We have a family vacation home that is at a lake. So I pay for those and I just like to have a separate area for those things. So that's what you will see on the left side of the filing cabinet. And then the right side, I just kind of did A to Z. I think for me, that's the easiest way to remember where things are and to file them accordingly. So I did take everything that he had given me and I took all of my piles of things that I have been paying over the last couple of years and created files for those as well. So honestly, this entire project took me about an hour and I really thought it was going to be something that would take days and days. So once I got my head in it, it really was not that bad at all. And I was able to get everything nice and organized and in its place. And now I am just so happy that everything has a place. And now when I need to create a new file, I do it right away because I'm not putting it off and I'm not going to be in that same situation again. And I'm also going through some older things that are laying around the house because believe it or not, I have some accordion files and I have some piles of mail and things like that around the main entry area of our house and baskets and whatnot. So still need to go through that, but now it is so much easier to do so because I know I can either throw it out or put it in a file that already likely exists. So that was really, really a wonderful thing. Okay, so now I'm going to bring you guys along with me as I just tidy up some of these drawers that have become more or less junk drawers and get those tidied up as well. Okay, so now that we've tackled this drawer here, we have all of these drawers to contend with. <laughs> Definitely needs uh, some thought going on behind it. So I'll quickly show you. This actually isn't too bad. I mean, I kind of just have extra space here. Um, this is where I keep all of my diffuser oils and just random things that end up in each drawer, honestly. Here, see this doesn't really make sense. The diffuser oils are here also. And then I just have random, like, I don't even know, chair pad thingies, <laughs> batteries, um, things that I use for hanging things up. Okay, and down here, this is just some things that I like to give away to clients, some beach bags and whatnot. And then this section has, I don't even know, just like some notebooks and envelopes and some cards, some more notebooks. And this has my Color Street nail strips, um, Disney Vacation Club stuff, tape, so I'm just kind of giving you guys a quick before. Here's my drawer of snacks and a hammer, you know, goes hand in hand. And then this drawer I'm not gonna open up because this is all my client files for Mickey World Travel. And that's pretty organized. Here, more randomness. And actually this drawer is not bad. I went through this recently. So this is the drawer I use most. So I have my whiteout, my thumbtacks, um, air, pods, air buds. I never know what to call them anymore, <laughs> but this is the kind that I can actually plug into my phone in case my wireless ones are not working. And yeah, so this drawer is pretty good. So I think what I should probably do is like take every single thing out of these drawers and kind of organize them in a way that makes sense. All right, here we go. Okay guys, so this was a great rainy day project and now I'm going to show you how everything looks in the end. 
look at this i have an empty drawer that never happened so all of the clutter that i have on my desk during the day i can like put some of it in here the stuff that i'm not using and then this is all of my dvc stuff and this is our magic bands for our upcoming trips and this little vera bradley notebook is the notebook i always use to jot down my notes that are specifically relevant to disney vacation club so that's all together and then in here i have extra folders like file folders and paper and then i have my extra christmas cards back there and then in this drawer this is mostly all of my mickey world travel notes and binders and things that i use for the travel agency and then in here i have my nail strips um my essential oils i have some gift cards in here tissues and scotch tape and then in this bottom drawer i have all of those little hooks and picture hanging strips and little uh scotch chair pads and stuff like that that's all in here in this little box and then i have extra ink for my printer batteries i have my little hammer over here and a lighter and then I already showed you guys this drawer. This is basically all of my essentials that I need throughout the day. And then in here I have my little thank you notes and note cards, some birthday cards and just uh, random cards that I have already pre-purchased. My highlighters are back here and then I have business cards back there as well. So everything fits nicely in there. Then over here in this drawer, I just have my external hard drives and some postcards my glasses really not a lot of stuff going on in here an extra mouse and i have a measuring tape here my charger is right in there and then in this drawer i really don't have very much stuff at all i have another lighter some extra phone cases i have washi tape in that mickey mouse box and then this is just one of those little ring lights that you can clip onto your computer and finally in this bottom drawer i have all of my planners, I like to save them. And then just a bunch of notebooks I have in here, like extra notebooks. So that is everything. It looks so much better and I am so happy with the way everything came out. And then I ended up using these two boxes or baskets, I should say, for this is some of my Mickey World travel, just like magazines and um, Disney maps and things like that. So if I do a show or something, I have stuff to put out. And then in here, I have the stuff that I would typically give as gifts to clients. So that's all in here as well. Sometimes I put together little baskets with things people might need. <laughs> and one of the things that you might need is a nightlight if you're staying in a disney resort sometimes those rooms tend to get pretty dark so i'll include that if i put together like a gift basket as well as hand sanitizer and candies and i have beach bags tissues and just lots of random things that i think people might need on their trips and that is everything okay guys so everything in all of my desk drawers is now totally and completely organized i am so happy that I took the time to take care of this. And I'm really, really excited that now everything is nicely organized and I can easily access all of my stuff. So that was a fun project and I am tired. I'm actually going to make myself a cup of tea and have a snack and just relax now because I deserve a break after all of this hard work. Really, really satisfied with the way that everything came out. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it inspired you to get some filing done because again, I know it's not the most fun thing to do, but for me, it was a great way to kick off my April month of decluttering things that are driving me crazy. <laughs> and there are some really, really crazy, messy things that I will be sharing with you this month. So please make sure that you check out my videos 
every Monday morning. I also post on Wednesdays other things, but for some motivational Monday inspiration, make sure that you check in on Mondays in April because we are going to be tackling so many things that have been bothering me for so very long. And a special thank you to my patrons for helping me narrow it down and decide what exactly I should be focused on this spring. So they were really, really incredibly helpful and I always appreciate them. So thank you for that. I look forward to seeing you guys throughout my whole decluttering process this month and I hope that you are all doing well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it so I know to create more like this. Let me know in the comments below if there is anything that you are currently focusing on this spring, if you are decluttering, if you are cleaning, if you're taking on a home project, I would love to hear about it in the comments. And please subscribe if you haven't done so already. I will see you all really soon. Take care, bye.